In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Shh. Victoria has a secret. But now that I guess the secret is out, I guess we can talk about it. Good morning, dear friends. Last night on one of the television channels in the 1000 channel TV universe, the annual Victoria's Secret fashion show was aired on TV. And I guess uh, in the course of the program, amidst the very stunningly beautiful models and the clothing that they were displaying, or lack of clothing that they were displaying, there was one item that raised and has raised a particular level of outrage. You see, one of the models was strutting down the runway wearing an article of clothing, a brassiere or a bra to be, uh, as a matter of fact. What was so disturbing wasn't the lack of clothing in the bra, rather it was the price. You see, the brassiere or the bra that the woman was wearing cost five million dollars. Think about this for a second. We're talking underwear, dear friends. Five million dollars for a piece of underwear. Let's put this in perspective. Because across North America and around the world, we have people's life savings being wiped out. Usually hardworking people who've put their money aside in various savings plans, saving for their retirement. We're not talking wealthy people. We've seen these savings wiped out. We have auto workers in Windsor, in Oshawa, losing their jobs. Plants are closing. We have people working in retail, barely making ends meet, hoping and praying that their retail outlet that they work in won't close in February. In spite of all of this, there are people in this world that have five million dollars to spend on an article of underwear. Think of what Dr. Simone could do with five million dollars. One meal costs five cents. Think he, of the meals of the people, of the villages, of the little communities that could be sustained for years for five million dollars. Now we know when an article and a piece of clothing is displayed on a runway that usually those articles of clothing are produced in quantities of more than one or two. So there are several people who are going to have millions of dollars worth of clothing under their tree this Christmas while others starve. Well, at St. Paul, that's not what we're about. I'd like you, dear friends, brothers and sisters, to be very careful and very thoughtful and specific this Christmas. Let's give gifts from the heart, gifts that are meaningful, gifts that remember what Christmas is all about. The birth of Jesus. Jesus is the reason for the season. Let us pray this morning also for, uh, I guess, the government of Canada. At around 9.30 today, the governor general of our country will be making a decision as to whether or not to recognize a coalition government, whether or not to uh, allow the government to take a, a brief holiday. Big decisions for the future of our country. Let us pray for a calm and let us pray, pray for good decisions. And let us pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death, amen. St. Paul, pray for us. And with those uh, teachers whose classes, those grade and nine and 10 teachers, whose classes are scheduled for reconciliation this morning, please bring their classes to the chapel as soon as possible. Father Rudy and Father Noel are here to hear confessions. And have a great day, St. Paul.
In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, St. Paul's. Here's today's news. All student council members are to meet in room 234 on Monday, December 8th at 2.30 for their student council photo. All members must be there. There will be no retakes. There will be a mandatory meeting for all ACNOW members immediately after school today in room 132. Please remember to bring in your raffle prizes. Stay tuned for more information on the ACNOW Christmas raffle, which will begin on Monday. Now for sports. Good morning, St. Paul. Here are your sports for today. The St. Paul girls hockey team made an amazing comeback yesterday at Vic Johnson Arena. The Wolverines were down four goals halfway through the game when they were able to score twice on the power play. The girls then scored two more at the end of the third period to tie Streetsville 4-4. Goal scorers were Caitlin Turk and Jen Napparice with two each. Next game is on Tuesday at 3 o'clock at Cothra. That's it for sports. Would the students who have signed up to write the CHAMP math contest please proceed to the library immediately after announcements. It's that time of year again when we look forward to the snow, the snow falling, families gathering for Christmas meals, and the annual, annual St. Paul Student Council Christmas Grams. Show your friends who care by buying a Christmas gram and have it delivered to them. Include a message on the card and your friends will receive a treat. Candy grams are 25 cents each or 3 for 50 cents. Each gram will include a candy cane to be delivered on Monday. To de no, sorry, to be delivered on Wednesday, December 17th. Candy grams will only be sold during 3A and C lunches between Monday, December 8th and Monday, December 15th. Get yours soon and send them to all your friends. Student Council will also be holding a bake sale on Monday, December 15th. Keep your ears open for more details. Thanks for tuning in. The song of the day is The Second Coming by Joel Santana. Have a great day, St. Paul. I gotta fly with the rest uh -huh. Best of the best is what we should